from those computers. Hi, everybody. I'm Chicago Psychic Consultant and Intuitive, Mel Dor, better known as the Aloha Shirt Psychic. Welcome to my channel. I am so excited. I have a young lady, Kayla Kelly, and she's new to our tarot, to the tarot community. She read me, she did a great job. I found out about her through my friend Gail Reichlin and Gail told me to talk to Kayla and we played back and forth phone tag. And here she is. Hi, Kayla. Hi, Mel. <laughs> nice to have you. Uh, Kayla was gonna be on a few nights ago, but then our furnace at my office went out and it's a whopping uh, 22 degrees here in Chicago and it's supposed to get down to 14 tonight. So I had to go out and buy room heaters and monitor all of that. So we had to postpone for a couple of nights. So, <laughs> um, okay. I wanna just talk about a few things really quickly. Uh, give me a second here. Everybody's asking how to enter the drawings to win free sessions. When you make a comment on my community page and when you make a comment uh, on the video portion, that automatically puts your name in for a free session. You know, recently it was called to my attention that there were some scammers impersonating my channel and also Linda Grindles, and they were replying to your comments on my community board. If anybody ever asks you for money, anything like that, that's not me. I will never ask anybody for money or to donate money. Uh, I did ask, I did tell people that when, the Kentucky, when that tornado hit Kentucky, to if you wanted to donate, you could do so to the Western Kentucky Tornado Relief Fund. So I've reported these people to YouTube. On my community board, there's a link. And if you click on it, you can see that they changed the, the face on there and changed the name, but it's still a fake page. So everybody, please click on, uh, click on that URL and you'll see a, thing, a flag that says about, go down and say that it's fake or scamming and you can put that in the comments too. So thank you all for being diligent. I appreciate it. Now, somebody made a comment that I laugh too much. With what happened at my office, I could like jump off the building because it cost me $10,000 to get the unit put on the roof. They have to break a crane or I could cry. I chose to try to laugh, albeit I was a little anxious. Now I know I've got a nervous giggle. I'll work on that. But my grandmother said, there's two things you can do in life, laugh or cry. And sometimes it's harder to laugh. And during the hard times of my life, my life, laughter got me through a lot. Somebody also commented that when I had Kevin on my show, that uh, us saying that all Republicans would go to jail is being disingenuous. Well, number one, we never said that all Republicans would go to jail. On any of my videos, I've never said that. I have said that those corrupt people, some Democrats included, that uh, colluded with Trump and all of that will be indicted and will go to jail. So we never said that all Republicans would go to jail. So I failed to see how we're being disingenuous. I think that comment was a bit disingenuous. I don't mind people giving me positive criticism on my channel, but if you're gonna be negative, I'll delete it. Anyway, so getting that out of the way, <laughs> Hi, Kayla. Hi. <laughs> I just had to get some housekeeping done. <laughs> of course. <laughs> All right. Kayla, tell us a little bit about yourself, my dear. Okay. Well, um, my name's Kayla, obviously. I'm 27 years old. My birthday was yesterday, actually. Oh, happy birthday. Thank you. Yeah, Aquarius season. <laughs> oh, oh. Um, I know. <laughs> I'm, old I look it, though. Your, I'm old enough to be your grandfather. I mean, your father. I mean, your older brother. <laughs> Yes. Um, oh, so I'm laughing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I also tend to have a nervous laugh. So we're not um, nervous laughing. We're just laughing. Yeah, we're laughing. But um, I'm originally from Illinois, but right now I'm living in Indiana. <laughs> oh, I've got to get back here. <laughs> and I will. <laughs> That's the plan. Um, I have a daughter. She's four. Her name is Cecilia. Yeah, and um, I just started my tarot business, and I'm very, very excited, and I love it, and it makes me excited every day. about your YouTube channel? Yeah, so my YouTube channel is Kayla Celestial Sky Tarot. Um, it's a bit lengthy, but 
Yeah. Say um, it again really slow and spell it out for everybody. So it's Kayla's Celestial Sky Tarot. Kayla as in K-A-Y-L-A, Celestial, C-E-L-E-S-T-I-A-L, Sky, S-K-A, I mean, S-K-Y, and Tarot, T-A-R-O-T. <laughs> okay. And so how would they get a hold of you? If they need a reading, how would they get a hold of you? So you can email me. It's the same thing as my website, but it's at Gmail. So Kayla's Celestial Sky Tarot at gmail.com. Um, I do have a phone number you can reach to. Um, it's on the site. It's uh, 224-201-3787. Um, yeah. Or through the site that I have. You can um, also ask questions and it'll go to my email. Yeah. Kayla's going to show me how to edit and help me with some of that. <laughs> 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 because I'm, I learned how to edit an iMovie, kind of, but I'm still illiterate when it comes to that. Okay, are you ready, Kayla? I'm ready. <laughs> All right. So let's ask some questions. So Kimberly Austin asked, if I'm looking down, you ask, because I'm looking at the questions on my cell phone. <laughs> okay. Yeah. She says, do you see Harry and Meghan ever reuniting with the royal family? And would, she, would their children be accepted by the royal family? Hmm. No, let's see. Let's see. Well, children. See, my mom loves keeping up everything with the queen and everything. So this is. It's okay. No problem. No, no my, lo my mom loves this stuff. So she's going to be happy when she hears about this. She loves the tarot or she loves the queen? The queen. <laughs> I like the queen too. I think she's amazing. Um, so right away, we have the Nine of Cups here. Um, now, this signifies just someone that is very humble, has everything, but is not going to be bragging about it. Um, and in this sense, since it's um, cups, that's emotions, I do see them, she's sitting down. I see them thinking, they're probably thinking about it. And, and if they do, I feel like they will be welcome since it, it is cups again. So emotions, let's see what else we get. Well, I pulled the King of Wands, go figure. Oh, wow. <laughs> Represent Charles. Okay, yeah. I don't see him being king for a long time, if at all. Yeah, I heard because that. If they try to call his current wife the queen or the prince's consort, that's going to create problems. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. Also, I pulled the six of cups, which means a reunited. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with children as well, especially. Exactly. Yeah. We have the, I also got the emperor. Oh, yeah, uh, that would represent the queen. Yeah, I, I you know, I, I think, of course, she's going to have her opinions on it, but I think she's going to welcome them back. Um, okay. Yeah. All righty. Somebody asked how they enter their name for a free reading. You just make a comment in the comment section or ask a question. like. Uh, somebody. OK. Oh. What is happening to Ram Paul's false exaggeration all the time? I don't exactly know what they mean by the question. It says Mystic Ma VP. Well, he's always going to exaggerate, but I see him out of office at some point. Rand Paul's a guy from Kentucky, the senator, I think. Oh, okay. He looks okay. like he's got the Brillo head on his <laughs> Brillo pad on his head. <laughs> uh, what do you think? Well, uh, he's going to be called out on a lot of his lies a lot more. So I'm sorry, what was the question again? Um, it says, what is happening to Rand Paul's false exaggeration all the time? I just think he's going to continue to be called out on those lies. And I see him losing popularity in Kentucky. Provided they count the votes right down there. Oh, while you're shuffling everybody, I heard that the Supreme Court uh, did something with uh, Roe v. Wade. I, but... I see more justices on the court, so I don't think ultimately they'll be able to overturn it. But the voting rights bill in Texas, and they're automatic now rejecting people um, registering to vote. So I did my own little artist rendering of what the Texas ballot will look like. It'll look like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, so I got, I got judgment. Oh. Good. Yeah, that's every, you know, everyone's uh, kind of watching and waiting for that. Okay. That justice, I want to say. Um, you know, Judgment Day, he's, he's been exaggerating, you said. He's um, lying is a better word. Oh, lying. Okay. Yeah. So he's definitely going to be getting 
his judgment day on that one. Uh, not four of cups. So I, I think that's like him kind of being caught in the act. I think he was, I don't know if it's like, um, usually with this card, I get like boredom. <laughs> I don't know if he was trying to make things spicier. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't think he's trying to spice them up. I just think that he, you know, he, he always exaggerates to kind of get what he wants and, you know. Yeah, also- you know, yeah, because it's like a child crossing their arms and yeah that's right when you said child he i in my opinion he is very childish Mm. okay cindy cindy d-i-m-i-t says will trump claim covid brain to get out of the january 6 problems while everyone around him goes to jail for not stopping him i just gotta say something trump can't claim covid brain because he doesn't have a brain (laughs) sorry about that i just had to jump in on that one you're good. <laughs> Would you, I'm going to pull cards on that. Let's see. Okay. Six of swords. Yeah, he's going to try to get out of it. Um, in any way possible, you know, shape, way, or form, he's going to try to move on to calmer waters. But, you know, there's no way. What I pulled, the fool. Well, <laughs> that's Trump. <laughs> Uh, I guess the question is, he might claim that, but the bigger question is, will he succeed? I already know the answer to it, but I'm going to put it up to you. Let's see, will he succeed? Okay. Um, so they gave me the tower. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a that's a no. That's. Uh, that means a lot of upheaval too. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Let me see here. Oh, Jenny Thomas, she's the wife of Clarence Thomas. And she, Clarence Thomas is on the Supreme Court. And um, she is a lobbyist. And there were a lot of cases the Supreme Court was trying. And Jenny Thomas, uh, Clarence Thomas supposedly knew about it. But those cases, I think she's a lobbyist. And she brought somewhere or another to the Supreme Court. And he should have recused himself. In other words, said, my wife's involved, but he didn't. Hmm. So um, this so this person is asking, was Jenny Thomas involved or Jenny Thomas in the insurrection on the 6th? I don't think she was directly involved, but I think that she cheered the insurrectionist on. What are you picking up on it? I see a lot. So when I'm shuffling, I see a lot of swords. Oh, gosh. So a lot of swords? Oh, I'm, yeah, I see a lot of swords, which is see, all about <laughs> What seat? And then they're falling out of my hand here. One fell on the ground. So the wheel well, of fortune. The falls on the floor comes to the door. Which one fell on the floor? So that's wheel of fortune. Um, so it. Persia. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And then you have emperor here again on the bottom of the deck and justice with the nine of swords. So you got. Okay. You want to interpret what that means? So <clears throat> justice is very like self-explanatory. Um, if there were any wrongdoings, you know, they will get um, either punished or, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The praise for it. Or so, call to, to yeah. for it. Yeah. And then emperor, that's just someone in a position of power for this matter, you know? Which would so, be her husband. <laughs> yeah, and it is more masculine energy. Um, and there's some worry going on here. So they're staying up late at night about it, thinking about it nonstop. But it's that, it, yeah. It's a, it, the, these answers are yes. They're so, yeah. I pulled the six of wands, which means victory, but I don't think that's going to be victory for Jenny Thomas. I think it's going to be victory for the people who start looking into it and investigating it. Yeah. And I keep seeing Clarence Thomas off the court. I don't know if it's because he's ill or whatever, but I, I see him off the court. So. Okay, here we go. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Uh, they want to know what notable sitting senators will lose in 2022. <laughs> well, I think cinema will be one. <laughs> uh, yeah, so yeah. Um, I, I really don't know. Um, I don't know when the Cruz is up for re-election, but I, I think he's on the way out. Um, I heard today that... Uh, I think she's from Arizona, that the Democratic Party in Arizona is sanctioning her because she 
she just hasn't gone along with the Democrats wanted at all. <laughs> I'm just, I'm the only card they gave me is the moon. Oopsies. Oh, so there's okay. a lot of things coming forth, a lot of like. A lot more coming to the surface. Exactly, exactly. All of the dark things too, whatever they were hiding. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, my guide show me a rear end, a person's derriere with okay. two pockets. Mansion's head was sticking out one and cinema's uh, head, uh, face was sticking out the other, which means uh, they're in somebody's back pockets. <laughs> I mean, that's what I intuit, or at least one from my guide show. Yeah. But if you got the moon, that means that's that's going to be revealed. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, this is a big one, you know, with uh, with Russia on the Ukrainian border, and people are wanting to know if Russia will invade Ukraine. Uh, I I think. You know, when Putin says that he doesn't want Ukraine to join NATO, and I just heard today that that was one of the conditions for him not to invade, Putin's a bully. And I think the United States should have said, look, if they if Ukraine wants to join NATO, that's their right. You can't say anything, Putin. I don't think they should have conceded to having the Ukraine not join NATO. But mm -hmm. what are you intuiting on that? I mean, actually, you, um, I'm sorry. I, oh, no, I wrote some notes on that earlier. Um, you know, I pulled some cards um, earlier this week about Putin, and I knew that Kamala Harris was going to come forward and make a very strong um, just speech and claims and everything. And she did. <laughs> she did. Um, so she was saying that it will be met with severe cause if it does happen that way. And she they kept interrupting her, but she was making sure that, um, you know, her point was made. Um, so let me see. That's interesting. They gave me the Ten of Cups for that one. So I feel like people, I, of course, everyone's worried um, about this, but I think that it's going to be okay in the end and everyone can still live like freely, you know? Um, let's see what else. Okay, I missed a card. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, two of cups. I just this is interesting. They're giving me a lot of cups cards for this. So there's maybe there's gonna be some peace going on, a treaty, like some kind of um what word am I looking for? <laughs> a guy show me a bully that Putin's a being bully. Yeah. making all these demands and he doesn't get to dictate whether Ukraine joins NATO or not. But mm -hmm. if Compromise. he doesn't invade, <laughs> then my feeling is, my guides show me that the European Union, uh, NATO, and uh, a lot of other countries in Europe would be totally against him and would come to Ukraine's aid. And then my guides also show me that a lot of people in Russia do not want war. Right, no. So, now, let me ask you, for Putin, Yeah. what do you see for him? So I was just going to get to that. Uh, they gave me the devil. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even That's kidding. Right. Um, so I always saw him as very power hungry and, like you said, a bully. Like, And there's the horns and there's just a lot of evil sense surrounding it's just bad 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 energy you know um i, I think he's gonna i don't know because you see that the chains really stick out to me too i see him gone yeah a lot sooner than later i just don't know how it's gonna happen but i do not see him in power right yeah Something. so okay anna hensley asks Will anyone in the Senate be removed for taking part in the January 6th insurrection? Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, I, I pick up on that one. A lot of come out about deceit and uh, kind of underhanded stuff very indirectly that at least three or four senators, maybe five were involved in. There will be a couple of them I, I don't think that'll run for re-election, but it 
it will come to the surface and it will be oh, yeah. out what they've done. Oh yeah, they gave me the tower again. So again, <laughs> a lot of upheaval. Um, and then you, they gave me the queen of swords. So there's gonna be like a lot of direct communication, um, the two of swords. A lot of people are gonna feel very like in between about this. They're not gonna see, they're not gonna know if they're seeing the truth or not, even though the truth is right in front of them when people come forward, you know, with their, um, experiences because I know they were interviewing people that just happened to be a part of everything today when I was watching the news um and then they also gave me seven of cups so there's a lot of different ways that this can go um but for me this the snake and the tornado really really stand out um so just well isn't that the card of illusion delusion confusion which is going on right now yes exactly just I there's guess so much coming like there will be a lot revealed yeah I guess the question is, will people be able to see through the illusion, delusion, confusion? I think yes. I think. You know, I've often said that Trump's base is going to be Trump's base. It's not yeah. Yeah. But what I see is that the rest of us are going to get tired of being ruled by this small white majority of ultra right people. It's almost like the American apartheid. Mm -hmm. And I see the rest of us speaking up. Mm -hmm. so for a while, it'll look like that they'll win, but they will, it'll look like they'll win the battle, but they won't win the war. Yeah, I completely okay. agree. All right. Uh, let's see. Will there be a cure for the hearing impaired due to nerve damage? This is Jen G. I hope I have hearing impairment. I have hearing aids in. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know my lifetime. Yeah. Okay, they want me to take this card. I see. Okay. Um, so page of cups. And then you got the ace of swords. Um, so the answer to that, I feel like I, I feel like there will be an improvement. Um, it may be small at first, but I, with the ace of swords which is very like a very big like communication and everything everything kind of coming forward i, I do think there will be it, it's going to start out small though um well there's something now that can do called a cochlear implant it actually goes in the ear okay but it makes the hearing real tin canny it wouldn't be like somebody's natural hearing and there's another thing called baja it's called a bone anchored hearing aid and they drill a hole and put a little screw in it and they have mm. vibrates and they put a little computer on it and it sends the signal to your brain. And so it goes to your good ear so you can actually hear. Wow, wow. Pretty, I mean, there's, I see a lot of advances coming technologically. Oh yeah. And some mechanical stuff that they can do to help out. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see here. Ooh. Oh, um, let me take a look. Give me a second. Sure. I'll drink some water. <laughs> okay. This is good. Lois. She said, my dog just passed. I'm sorry, Lois. Oh, I hate that. I just love dogs. Sorry. She said, a psychic told me that my dog had two prior owners. The first owner died a motorcycle accident. Is she with him? I feel happy she is out of pain. She always seemed depressed, even though I provided a good home with love, walks, toys, healthy food, et cetera yeah okay let's see what uh does, does she give the name of the dog or no uh no okay let's see where your dog is at. okay so all right uh six of wands so they're a lot happier they're a lot happier um they're probably feeling a little bit freer right now the white horse really stands out for me um yeah, so they're not, of course, they're not in pain anymore. Um, yeah, they're happier. I see three people dancing in a circle. So yeah. that's reuniting. Mm -hmm. I see the dog there dancing with them. So. They also I, gave me King like, of Cups. So. Oh, I'm, sorry? I'm sorry, they also gave me King of Cups. So they're definitely, yeah, with people that they love and happy. Uh, you know, yes, yeah, she is reunited with her first master, but there's another one there because I see three people dancing around. The dog is there too. Aww. But, you know, uh, Lois, here's the deal. Dogs do grieve and they do miss past loved ones. So she was probably missing, or he, whatever 
gender the dog was missing their past owners. But, you know, your dog is telling me that the dog is very happy that you adopted the dog and that you gave the dog a good home. And the dog is very thankful for that. Oh, <laughs> that just warms my heart. <laughs> okay. Okay. Daro, Daro OH, it says. Hi, now that cinema has finally been censured by the Democrats, will this lead the way for people to step forward and reveal her secrets and she finally gets removed? We already did that. It was like, uh, I think, what came, the, um, the moon yes. came up on that one. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, let me, I'm gonna keep going here. Okay. Okay, Lisa Foster wants to know if Biden's numbers will go up, his support, because mm. he's at 44%. I don't, I don't think he's really worried much about his support, I mean, about his approval right now. <laughs> I don't think either. He's definitely focused on other things right now. God knows he's got enough on his plate. He inherited a real doo-doo sandwich. <laughs> so yeah, when I was saying he was focusing on other things, it's because of the two of wands coming out. Um, He's, he's not worried, um, but I do see seven of pentacles as well. So it is going to, it is going to grow. Definitely. Right. Yeah. yeah. And the seeds are being planted and they will blossom. So. Okay. Yeah. I think I'll just shut up and let you answer the question. <laughs> no, it's totally okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Kate in what is coming for Bernie Sanders? He is once again, registered as an independent. Okay. Ooh. Well, I can't. I see him reelected. Right, because the six of wands is really okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm shuffling, they make like they don't let the cards move, so I take that card that I see. <laughs> um, That's fine. That's your guys smacking you on the head and say, "Take." They're like, <laughs> they're like Kayla, come on, let's stop. <laughs> but yeah, six of wands. Um, victory. Yeah, victory. I pulled the sun. Yeah, happy times. It's Great. the best, best card in the deck. So cool. Yeah, it's good reversed. It's again, good. Up. Not for president, but I see him running again in the Senate or, and Senator, and I see him winning. Um, and he's going to become even more outspoken against all the corruption that's been going on with under the Trump Lincoln years. Okay, let me see here. Let me take a look. Okay. Here's Amy. I can't say her name. Normally we don't answer personal questions, but we'll answer this one. Amy, I can't say her last name. C-I-C-C-I-E-C-K-A. She says, I've been at my present job for 18 years. Should I stay there or get a different job? Uh, let me see here. Hold on just a second, Amy. Um, I'm going to use different cards here. <laughs> I usually don't use cards, but I figured I would tonight. Um. Okay. So seven of swords came out. That's sneaky stuff going on. Um. I think you might want to. Um. There might be something going on. I pull the ten of clubs. So the ten of clubs would mean. Yeah. It's a, it's a death card, but not like a physical death. So I take that to mean it's a death of where you're at and then you finding a different job or job title. So I clearly see another job. Yeah, definitely. That's all I wanted to give me about that one. Yeah, I, I, and even before I pulled the cards, I was feeling like Amy definitely should. Okay, uh, hold on a second. Sure. Let me just get here. <laughs> oh, this is really good. I like this one. Mom's email. On a lighter note, what did Biden do with the golden toilet Trump had installed? <laughs> he flushed it. <laughs> yeah, that, I, I, I think that's just, I think it's gone. <laughs> I feel it's gone. <laughs> Let me see <laughs> for you. Where's that golden toilet at? I know certain parts they should send to Trump. <laughs> they're not, they're think, not gonna get any cards on it. It's, 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 just gone. <laughs> it's probably been melted down. I just hope I just so hope they make it into jewelry because I wouldn't want to wear it. 
Only because it's got Trump's vibes on it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, the Duchess of Cambridge, otherwise known as Kate, have a fourth child. That's Wendy from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Hmm. Okay, Queen of Wands is poking out. Ooh. Yeah, um, I think I, for me, that's a yes. I hear yes. Yeah, because that was like, Wands is fire and also the flower. It, it represents fertility for me. Um, so yeah, I hear, I definitely, yes. I'm just wondering if she ever had a miscarriage because that, that word hit me, miscarriage, and I saw a baby carriage sideways. So I hope I'm wrong on that, but anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then Ace of Wands too. So that's, usually that means in that kind of reading, yes, that she will have another baby. Um. Okay, Barb Mecca. Will former Congressman Devin and Nunes be indicted for criminal activity he did for Trump in the US and in the Ukraine? <laughs> Let me take a look. Boy, I had said, you know, this January 6th commission is gonna keep bringing a lot more to the surface and being in the age of truth. And there's so much that's gonna come out. And they're really starting to, you know, they just scratched the surface, but there's so much more. And I see a special uh, prosecutor being uh, uh, appointed. It's very interesting. They gave me the permit for that one. But the laptop stands out. Oh, yeah. The laptop she's holding out. Um, I feel like indicted. Yeah. Um, it's just weird. I really don't know what to take from that one. Because usually with the hermit, that's like taking, that's usually like taking your space and meditating on it. Um, I see him, well, he's supposedly head of Trump's new media thing. But, uh, but even before Nunes went over there, they were already in, under investigation for the SEC. And I know what Trump's doing. He's trying to put Nunes there because he wants to keep Nunes on his side. But also, he's going to use him as a fall guy. So if something goes wrong with that company and they come after anybody criminally because of the company, Trump will blame it on Nunes. But mm -hmm. because of what Nunes did when he was spilling information to Donald Trump and the, and the stuff he pulled in Ukraine, I do see investigation and he's going to be in hot water. So that's why the laptop stands out because of the investigation. Uh, yeah, that's what I took it to mean. Yeah, you hear indictments there, too. Hmm. Okay. Um, let me take a look. Hold on a minute. Uh, come on, give me one second. Sure. Yeah. Um, I'm looking. <laughs> I'm just scrolling through these. I apologize. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, this is Catherine Benson. She's from Georgia. She okay. said, I would like to know if the Department of Justice, the Department of Justice's discrimination lawsuit against Georgia's new voter suppression law would be struck down in whole or in part. Hmm. Okay, so eight of cups. Oop. Keep falling. Um, so they're walking away. And the question is, will it be falling apart or? Will it be struck down? In other words, will it, will the whole thing be struck down or just parts of it? I, for me, it feels like the whole thing. Okay. That's yeah. what's picked up. It'll be struck down. Yeah. Um, you know, as much as I disagree with the Supreme Court, they say they're not partisan. I really believe they are. You know, it's kind of a super majority, but I still think on some level, they'll say you can't restrict people's rights to vote. Mm -hmm. Um, and people want to know about the, did we talk about Roe v. Wade, the future of Roe v. Wade? People want to know about that. No, we did not talk about that. Okay, so I know that the Supreme Court, go figure, it was six to three or whatever it was, I guess which six. I think they said that something about, there was something about the Texas abortion, that new abortion law that yeah. they might've upheld or something. I forget exactly what, or, or put it back down to a lower court. I forget what happened. But it was 
they thought, you know, but people think it's a really defeat for women's rights. But, yeah. but here again, it looks as if they'll win the battle, but they won't win the war. <laughs> Yeah, I got the tower again. <laughs> and then oh, that, I got okay. the eight of pentacles. Okay, so what does that mean? So usually that means that you're working on something real hard and it's going to pay off. Um, and then the buildings stick out for me. For, for you mean for the person, the right to choose? The right to choose. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. Um, now with the tower, it's still going to be a battle, like you said. I'm sorry? It's still going to be a battle you were saying yep. um but they are really really working hard on that um i had predicted i saw reform coming to the supreme court and i just found out that biden did introduce something where they're going to try to do a set of ethics for supreme court justices that the same other judges have to follow but i see new new people coming on the court we talked about the, that earlier tonight what about you Okay, I'm sorry. Can you ask that? <laughs> I see new justices coming on the court. What about you? <laughs> Do you see that? I keep seeing three, but I see a couple. Is off that the three? <laughs> three oh, of one. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Talk about affirmations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a yes. Yeah. Oh. All right. Uh, let me see here. <laughs> My guides have jokes. <laughs> oh, this is a good one. I didn't know about this. Uh, this is by C. Torino. This is good. What will be the ramifications of the newly disclosed but never issued Trump executive order to seize voting machines? Uh, okay. So will it be through new legislation and or potential legal action for Trump and his associates? So that's two questions. But she wants to know what's going to happen uh, to, to the executive order that Trump issued to seize voting machines. Uh, so they gave me the eight of pentacles again, but the drawing tablet that she's on is really standing out for electronic um, votes. I I don't think it's going to be successful. I feel like there will still be electronic voting. I'm sorry, you said what? I said, I think there will still be electronic voting. No, it's, I think they're not asking about that, but he wanted to seize the voting machines. Oh, and seize the voting machines? And what she's asking is, um, what what is the outcome of that? What's the ramifications? Well, will there be new legislation or potential legal action for Trump and his associates? Because he doesn't get the right to order. I don't think he can, I don't know if he could issue an executive order to seize voting machines to change the outcome of election. Yeah, I don't think you could either. Um, I think I know what you touched on with the electronic voting because Trump kept saying it was fraud. They, they, they you know, we won. But I think your answer shows that obviously what we all know there was no fraud. Yeah. <laughs> the big lie will come to, will be disproven time and time again. Yeah. Definitely. There, yeah, I think that's that's all the only card they wanted to give me for that one. But okay, um, what I'm what my guides are showing me is that I see all kinds of legal papers. So at some point there will be new legislation, and I'm seeing that at least two of his associates, because Trump is going to try to blame them. Um, rather than be indicted, I think they're going to point fingers at Trump. So, you know, that just goes along with all the other stuff he's pulled. And mm -hmm. all this, everything he's done is just going to keep coming out more and more and more. I agree. So, yeah, uh, that was a good question, actually. Okay, let's take a look. <laughs> Okay, this is good. Anne wants to know this. If Biden started having fireside chats, talking with the American people and not to politicians, would he be able to get more people on board mm -hmm. or increase his rating? Uh, let me see here. While I'm looking. <laughs> and I'm thinking about um, 
you know, I, I, we were talking about Supreme Court before, and right now they've got the lowest approval rating in the history of the Supreme Court. Mm, okay. So, they gave me justice. I'm, um, sorry. I'm sorry. They gave me justice. So the answer would be if Biden started having these chats, then he would, would increase his popularity? It would. I think it's going to go up regardless, but I do think that would help as well. I think it would help a lot. That's yeah. Right. Um, because my guys are slowing somebody singing, everybody dancing and getting into it. Not that Biden's a singer, but I think the meaning of that is with him passing about the word, everybody would really get into the rhythm of that and it would create momentum forward. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Uh, let me take a look here. Let me see here. Um, okay, let me just read this. Okay, hi. This person, Jan B, saw on Twitter someone suggesting that the Democrats can propose funding for updated voting machines so that, so that they could be able to do voting rights in a different bill other than having play with the filibuster. Do you see this as a workaround that Dems could use? I don't know the answer to that, mm -hmm. but I wanna to get to the voting rights bill and they didn't pass it because uh, they wanted to break the filibuster and Cinema and Manchin, who are Democrats, uh, said no, that they, they're not gonna to vote to break the filibuster. But I keep seeing that bill going through. And I think, you know, it could be, after the midterms, but I still think the Democrats can do something to maneuver through it. I don't know if the exact way that Jambi is asking, but I know they'll be able to maneuver through it. So what do you see? Would you see that voting rights bill ultimately going, going through? And will the Democrats find a way to kind of maneuver around? <laughs> right off the bat, I do see it going through. Um, but let's see what Point. the cards look like. Okay, yeah, so judgment came out. Oh, okay. Hmm. okay. Uh, I missed to take it, but it, so they gave me the judgment card again. Oh, Sorry. okay. And so what does that mean? So for just a simple yes and no, I, I take it as a yes. Um, the, the people down here really stand out. Um, I feel like they're all working right now towards that. Right. Yes. Yeah. And then with the red, that's like victory, justice. Got it. Um, yeah. So. Okay. Um, will any of the individuals, this is Carol Bastian, will any of the individuals who signed false voter documents in the swing states suffer any legal or criminal problems or will nothing happen to them? They might fight it, but I think something will happen to them. What do you, okay. I, I, um, they're gonna probably try to fight that as hard as they can, but with the seven of wands here, I'm sorry, the lighting is like- not No, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, so that's definitely someone fighting it, but they're gonna try to stand their ground. Good. I saw the ace of clubs, which- Okay. I the ace of clubs, which means, uh, it means misadventure. So in other words, their misadventures, the wrong roads they chose will be will come to the forefront. I'll tell you what else I see too, those people who signed those fake elector ballots that they sent to Congress from those different states, they were fake. Yeah. They're gonna they're gonna be prosecuted. <laughs> so yeah. I see prosecutions coming for voter fraud, absolutely. Yeah, great. <laughs> um, Another one, I, I just heard that Georgia, the, uh, I think the Attorney General of Georgia, or whoever it is, is asking for a grand jury uh, to pull together to see if there's enough evidence to convict Trump for election fraud when he made that phone call asking for 11,000 more votes. What do you see as an outcome of that? Do you, do you see a grand jury? Um, let me see here. Okay. Ooh, 
Ooh. 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 Ouch. <laughs> they, they gave me the world. Okay. So again, that's another yes. Um, if you're just going off the tarot. But yeah, that's that's usually with when you get this card, that is one chapter that is either very positive or very negative ending and a new chapter beginning, which will be the exact opposite of that. So well, he's in deep doo doo, in other words. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I call it Ace of Diamonds, which means oh, wow. dire misfortune. It means fierce enemies. It means, um, ooh, uh, it can't be averted. So, you know, he's made so many enemies and, and, you know, he thinks people are out to get him, but, you know, I'm hearing justice will prevail. So yeah. I see a grand jury convened and I see an indictment there. Okay, we got time for one more. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is good. Stephanie Craig, hi, Mel. Will we ever learn who or whom have bought Mansion and Cinema's votes? <laughs> hmm. we, we ever learn? Uh, I, you know, we all know that the, the, the Republican Party had a big fundraiser for Cinema, and they spent a lot of money putting her uh, for her election and they even had a big fundraiser for it not long ago and so my husband keeps saying and he's not conspiracy theory at all but he thinks that she was a plant i don't know about that but i do think that that money influence caused her to vote the way she did yeah definitely the king of wands here and they have their their hand like in a ball and a fist <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, I agree. But do you think they'll ever learn like who it was or? I, I want to say yes with this because. Yeah, because this is someone that's very much in charge. Okay. I want to say yeah. I want to say yes. OK. Yeah. All right. Uh, wow, we got a lot done. <laughs> OK, now I'm going to be selfish. All right. Okay. I just want you to do a little spread for me. So you can... Sure, yeah. Is there a question you would like to ask or? No? It's okay. What do we got in the cards for Mel? Well, I work on my nervous giggle. I'm not being mean, everybody. I just find you in it. We got 10 of Pentacles right off the bat here. Do you have any pets? Yes, my dog, Lucky. Oh, I'm... They really stand out here in this card. You have the little two dogs here, <laughs> Lucky. And so you said that you just spent a good chunk of money on um, your office. Was it the furnace you said? It was the furnace on the roof. And it, we're okay. one level, but it's a, it's a commercial space. And it's like, okay. my office is 1,600 square feet, but you, they have to get a crane to put the unit up there. You're going to get your money back for that. Um, I think that February and March is going to be very good months for you, business-wise. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, let's see. They like me to shuffle a different way. What else we got from Mel? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> now, you're in Aries, right? One degree. I'm born March 22nd, 1954. Yes. So, I believe Mar um, <laughs> Ten of Cups and the emperor which is a fire sign which is aries this is aries um tarot card the emperor so next month is going to be very good for you very emotionally fulfilling um i'm not sure if you're going to be either visiting family or going on a trip with your husband oh, oh yeah we are actually in february we're going to st croix to visit friends <laughs> So that's going to be very, like, a, such a fun time for you. You're definitely wanting to get out of the cold. You have five of pentacles here. So you are a little bit worried about finances right now, but they're going to, like, with the ten of pentacles, there's no need. Um, I think they're saying that you were, you're worrying a lot about a lot of different things, uh, financially, health-wise. They just, they want you to know it's going to be okay. <laughs> oh, good, because I just had a stress test on Monday. And okay. everybody gave, sent me a lot of positive on that. I had open heart surgery nine and a half years ago. Okay. And I had triple bypass, but I was getting a little chest pain. But the doctor said there's one little area to, to look, to watch out for, but, you know, keep an eye on it. So yeah. I looked at that as good news. I guess I'm not ready to croak just yet. No. <laughs> 
and they also gave me the one more card just the lovers so yeah um they gave me this to you last time i don't know if you remember but it the the feet are like lifted up here which means a journey to me um i, I think you're gonna have a good valentine's day <laughs> Well, I'm putting it on my psychic adventure tours too. Like, there, I get groups of 15 people, and then there are trips that a tour operator always has together. But if I get 15 people together or more, it's kind of fun because I get a free trip. So, yeah, you're going to have a lot of fun these next few months. And they just, they're telling me that they just want you to work on worrying, maybe try some deep breathing exercises or something like that. But you will get your money back. Your money's going to be fine. Like, everything's gonna be okay i think i'll get it back through work because there's no other yeah. way to get it back no. right yeah exactly with ten of pentacles that definitely means your career okay yeah. i see an increase in money coming for you okay <laughs> um you know if you're looking for thinking taking a, a a job right now i would wait because you know i don't think you're quite seeing how quickly and this is not because you're on my channel but how yeah. quickly that your tarot readings will build up. Okay. And so those will build up exponentially. Now, spirit shows me packed boxes. Whenever I see that, that would mean a move. So when I was saying earlier on in our in, in the session, when I saw you moving back into the Chicagoland area, I was not being facetious. I see that. Uh, <laughs> it looks like that's what you're shooting for. But ultimately... I see you in a climate where there's palm, sand, and sun, not Florida. <laughs> I've always liked Hawaii, but... Well, you'll go there uh, yeah. because I hear, hey, come on, my, you'll go there. Um, I like the island of Kauai, but it's very laid back. Um, yeah. You're younger, you'd probably like Maui. But the person that you end up with, and it's someone you do not yet know, okay. will like to travel. Good. And I see more children for you yay <laughs> i said children not child i see two. i more. heard you <laughs> Healthy. Uh, so i'm hearing just don't bow to the pressures around you with the pressure people close around you are putting on you about your career i'm hearing stay true to what you do <laughs> i will <laughs> all right my dear this has been fun i've enjoyed it and um I understand that you're staying abreast of current events. Yeah. And, uh, we will do this again. Okay. I'm excited for the next so time. Everybody here again. If you want to get a hold of Kayla, uh, Kayla's Celestial Sky Tarot.com. Yes. All right. Dot com. And that's the name of your YouTube channel. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and give your phone number one more time. 224-201-3787. Perfect. All right, my dear. Uh, I'm going to turn the recording off. Kay, you, you stay on. Don't sign off yet. Everybody, it's been a pleasure. I tend to talk fast today, high gear, because there were so many questions that I wanted to get answered. Thank you for sending them. Once again, everybody, thank you for letting me know that someone was impersonating. Again, I'll never ask for money for a donation. Uh, so if that happens again, let me know. Everybody stay well, stay warm, and I must stay. <laughs>